In this tutorial, we are going to see how to configure the SLA rules and how to reuse it across your Loadrunner analysis files. There, are, there is no direct way of reusing the configured SLA rules, but by hacking a simple XML file, you should be able to do it. Assume that you have more than 10 Loadrunner analysis. So I'm going to apply the I'm going to configure the SLA rules only for one loadrunner analysis and I'm going to reuse it across the rest of the files. So these are my loadrunner analysis. So I'm going to open the first loadrunner analysis file. So as you see, there is no SLA rules been configured here so to configure the SLA click on tools select configure SLA rules then click on new and follow the wizard it's pretty simple so I'm going to apply the SLA for the uh, percentile response time for the transaction so I'm going to select the first five so these are the uh, uh, transaction names I'll, I'm going to click on this arrow button so that the selected transactions will be configured in the next screen and I'm going to configure for 95th percentile response time is one second and click on apply to all so that the threshold will be set for these transactions now click on next and click on finish so to apply the SLA rules click on close so now load and analysis will try to attempt the configure the SLA settings you could see here the SLA status is green color which means SLA has been SLA objectives have been uh, achieved so now go to the folder path where you have saved this DIE underscore A. So you, here you could see there is a folder called SLA rules 0. So go to this folder. Here you could see there is a XML called SLA configuration. The file size is 1 KB. Okay. Now open this in Notepad++ or in your favorite editor. Here you could see there is no rules have been set. Now go to your analysis, click on save. Now go back to your uh, configuration XML file and open it in your editor. Here you could see the rules what we configured has been the respective tags have been added here. So this is not a, in a readable format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to beautify this XML. So I'm using xmlbeautify.com. So you can uh, use uh, whatever is convenient to you. So here you could see the respective transaction SLA tax have been added here. So it is in readable format now. So now what you're going to do is you're going to simply copy this and go to the loadrunner analysis where you want to configure the SLA. So just replace this file. So in this case, I have applied the SLA rules for this DAE underscore A1. So now I'm going to open this file in analysis file open DAE underscore A1 okay but you you don't see the SLA status unless you apply it so just go to tools configure SLA rules and click on edit just keep on pressing next 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 and click on finish 
and click on close. So you will save time without entering any SLA uh, values. So you just open the config SLA rules and you will just click on edit and you will keep on clicking next and finish. So no need to enter the select the transactions again and again and no need to enter the threshold values again and again. So you will repeat this. So uh, don't forget to save this. So you will just keep on copying this SLA configuration XML file across your Lodonar results. So this will save your time in configuring the transactions and the thresholds. So this is the way I have found. So if you have any other better way to do or reuse the SLA rules, please let me know in the comment section. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.